Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's video, we are finally in my new fish room. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a better look at this in a minute, but basically I've spent the last day and a half clearing out a ton of stuff. I'll show some photos up now, basically. This used to belong to a cafe. It was full of stuff. We had to take it all out. It had to get taken to the tip. There was just a ton of stuff that had to happen. So basically there's two fridges left and yeah, this place, just gurneyed it out. There's still a ton of soot that I need to gurney out. But yeah, this, this is kind of what it looks like right now. Here is the space. Now this is 16 meters squared of space and we're gonna try and attempt to fit 60 aquariums in here, which is gonna be kind of crazy. It's raining right now, but you guys can see the space we've got. So decent space, but yeah, still a lot of work to do. Okay, so it's been another few days now since I was last in here and recording and basically we're just about to start building stuff and basically I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour and rundown of like what's gonna happen and like all the plans for this room. So I'm gonna switch around the camera and show you. Okay, so basically here is the room. Now, as you guys can see, I've chalked out like where I'm gonna be putting stands. So there's gonna be stands on this side, stands over on this wall, and then there's gonna be stands down the middle and then some more stands across here. So I'm gonna fit about 65 tanks in this room. Now, as you guys can see, there's a lot of things that have to be modified, like these power boards have to be go and stuck up here. You can see I've crossed off the X's and all that kind of stuff up there. These old pipes have to be taken out because they're no, no longer in use. And basically my plan is to push all the aquariums out this way and have the plumbing towards me. And that way it'll maximize the space I have between this rack of tanks and then the corridor here. So this will be about like 73 centimeters. So very, very tight. But up the back, you guys can see, I'm gonna be centrally heating this area. So there's gonna be an air con put in up here. This is all gonna be like fixed up by the way. All the flooring's gonna be re-rendered. And the way it's gonna work is the water's gonna overflow out the back here. It's gonna come into an overflow. It's gonna come run down here and then out this wall to a storm water line. So there's gonna be like an outlet put in here and a couple of taps here in case I wanna do some water changing. There's gonna be some storage here and there's gonna be a bit of space over this side. So we haven't run into any huge issues. Basically, the water's gonna be stored in a reservoir, which is gonna be in a tank over there and that's going to be run over and into here and it's all going to work so basically this is where we're at at the moment i'm going to get back to you guys when we start doing a little bit more building but yeah you can see it's a very tight space okay so it's been another couple of days now since the last time i recorded and basically some of the builders have been in and they've flattened out the floor for me because we're going to be putting a layer of like concrete on the bottom to kind of make this a little bit more flat and they've also patched up a lot of the brickwork because all of the brickwork in this building is very, very old. So I'm just going to show you it all now. Okay, so this is how it looks at the moment. As you guys can see, they've used some of this like cement mix to paste up the walls and there's a lot of the holes are gone now and it's got this like rough finish. So I can paint that if I want to. And also the floor has been flattened. So there used to be some big chunks sticking out from over here that would have affected with the stands and stuff like that. That's all been like taken out and now they're going to be putting a like five mil layer of what we call art it on the floor. And this is like rock hard stuff and it's basically gonna seal up the floor and make it really, really flat. So that, first of all, then we'll get to paint it and it'll look way nicer, but it'll also be a lot more practical for the fish room. Basically, that's what's happening now. I'll show you guys when this layer of art it comes in. All right, so it's been a few more days now since the last time I saw you guys. And basically today we are gonna be painting. So I've got an old shirt on. I brought my good camera, but of course, you know, something's stuffed up and I can't attach the microphone to the camera. So we're going to be using the phone again. <laughs> I'm going to quickly show you guys the walls. I'm going to quickly like scratch over them because they were all bagged and, um, and then we can give them a paint. I picked out a nice off white color because this is a very small room um, and it hopefully should look really, really good. So you guys can see these walls are like covered in like stuff. I'm just dusting off all the, you can see there's just tons and tons of this stuff. So I'm going to go over that and get rid of all of that stuff and then give it a paint.
Alright, so I've just finished up on the first layer. As you can see, I started on a second layer over here, but it's night time, so we're not going to be able to stay for much longer. Um, I'm going to pick this up in the morning and add the second coat on. I might even do a third coat. I've got quite a lot of paint, so you can see the colour the wall is going to be. I know it's not that important and it doesn't really relate to fish, but just want to make this room as habitable as possible, just so that when I'm spending a long time here cleaning tanks and all that, it's not a uh, weird room to be in. So, very, very small, but you can see it's coming out pretty good. So, it's been another day and a half fully painting stuff. As you can see, the whole room is now painted. I, like, I've spent way too long doing this. We're about to do the floor now, so I'm gonna do it like a nice gray color, and hopefully that'll be the end of all the annoying, you know, stuff before we can start really building the stands and all that. So, let's get started. Just finished, night time, whole days of painting, but you can see it's all really coming together now. All right, so it's now the next morning and you guys can see everything has dried out and it's starting to look really good. This floor is gonna need a second coat of paint, so I'm gonna be doing that after I've finished up this, but you can see the walls are looking amazing. Obviously, this is gonna be moved up and there's gonna be touch-ups done and all that kind of stuff, but. As for the way it looks, I'm really, really happy. I'm also gonna be like obviously making this line a little bit more flat and nice looking, but basically here's where we're at. This is gonna be pretty much the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching it. I really do appreciate it. Um, in the next vlog, we're gonna be building the racks. So there's gonna be racks everywhere and we're also gonna probably be getting the tanks. So we'll see how we go. Um, we're making progress. It's starting to look really, really good and it's all starting to come together really, really nicely. So I'll see you guys in the next video.